The door is an invitation, opening and exit, beginning or ending. It protects and guards, but can also trap and contain. Not only is the door an opening, but a barrier and threshold as well. Alice Sayers' definition of cinema as a door threshold is a passage from one world to another, which presupposes the coexistence of two worlds. Steven Spielberg's 1985 film, The Color Purple, utilizes this ideology. This film serves as a racial portal, connecting the thoughts of the viewer to the attitudes and situations reflected on the screen. It introduces us to an African-American woman in the South, desperately trying to survive as well as learn about herself and the world around her. This film faces not only racial issues, but aims to introduce the spectator to complex relations between certain characters. In The Color Purple, the door separates the known and unknown, but also divides domestic and cultural issues. In the film, Celie is interested and also perplexed by the issues outside her home. The door allows her an escape or a sense of freedom and connection to others. The audience sees this connection when she first meets Suge Avery. Her confusion soon blossoms into interest and infatuation. Juxtaposedly, Barry Jenkins' 2017 film Moonlight immerses the audience into the life journey of a black homosexual man. We as the audience experience every aspect of his life from childhood to adulthood, facing insensitive characters, awkward situations, drugs, addiction, and violence, as well as confusion and heartache. This film allows the audience to walk in his dream, understand his desires, and it connects the viewers emotionally. This creates a stronger attachment to the character. Moonlight thrusts the viewer into a queer realm, unfiltered and only tamed by the world around it. The many different camera angles provoke a sense of movement and connection with Chiron. The spending camera moments during his fights, jilted movements when tussling with his friends, as well as his ocean baptism, all work together to form a greater bond with the diegesis of the film. In the VR docufilm, Notes on Blindness, we the viewer are experiencing the world through sound. The main character's voice carries the audience, creating a space where sound and voice becomes only visuals. We are led through this world that is unknown to us, but known to the narrator. We see what he hears and lives his life through this experience. Ellis Sayers states in his text, the screen is no longer a visual container framing the image, but has expanded into the auditorium space, further blurring the boundaries between inside and outside, in here and out there, 